How we going guys? The Loot Gamer over here and welcome to another episode of Really Cool Gaming Loot. Over here people, we've got the Borderlands Legendary Collection for the Switch. I want to sort of show you guys all the really cool details of this. I am so excited for this because as you know, the Switch version came out today and we will be grabbing the Borderlands, the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2 as well. Plus additional content, which is so damn cool. Let's unbox this product right now and kind of see exactly what I we think get. I think the packaging over here, fellas, just plain simple Borderlands 3. So you can kind of see over here, Borderlands, a legendary collection, includes three games plus add-on content. Borderlands, the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2 as well. Really looking nice. On the side over here, this Borderlands legendary collection. At the back over here, all kinds of juicy details. So as you know, obviously, you're able to play this game on your TV with your Joy-Cons off or even on the Switch itself, the Switch Lite to be more specific. Also compatible with the Pro compatible controller as well, which is great to see. But um, let's kind of open this up right now and kind of see what to expect over here. Which is nice, beautiful over there. Really nice packaging. Let's open this up slowly. So inside over here, as we can kind of see, we grab ourselves a plain inside image here yeah, of just, as you guys saw, Borderlands, a pre sequel on Borderlands 2. I kind of do wish there was some sort of artwork inside, which is a little bit disappointing. Having a look at the cartridge over here, looking really nice, Borderlands over there. And let's kind of open this up here and kind of see what we can expect. So of course over here, we, we kind of see Borderlands from Gearbox and the back over here, just a code as you guys can see here, it says the Borderlands um, Nintendo eShop from the home menu, then select the account you want to use. And of course the code is inside here, which includes 16 character download code, which is nice to see. So this is obviously for the pre-sequel, which is nice to see there. Inside over here, of course, we grab ourselves for Lands the Legendary Collection. What else do we grab inside here? Just information about it. Basically, uh, to download the complete Borderlands Legendary Collection, visit www.2k.com, etc., and follow the on-screen menus. But that's all we, we really get, fellas. Really disappointing. I kind of wish we grabbed a little bit more inside here. Yeah, but let's sort of put up this game right now on Borderlands and kind of see how well it runs on the Nintendo Switch. Over here, as we can kind of see, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition all installed. But as you can kind of see over here, there'll actually be a software update that will be needed. But you guys can actually skip it and actually play. But bear in mind, fellas, this will take over 40 minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is. But now let's sort of dive deep into this game and kind of see exactly what we can expect. So we are in, fellas. As we can kind of see, a full screen on the lovely Switcher. Start game options. Let's sort of go to options and kind of see what we could do with the controller so of course we are able to change the sensitivity motion controls etc motion sensitivity let's go back the audio the video as well we can change the brightness and also the field of view which is nice to see audio over here of course you're able to adjust your audio and so on game options you can change all of these game options fellas so a whole lot of options here of course we got no graphic options because this is a switch let's sort of start the game right now we can we can either update the software or you're able to say later which is fine i think i'll probably say later let's sort of say play game you're also able to select a character so new character this is play game and let's see what we can expect but so far fellas the load screens aren't too bad so, you want to hear a story huh what about treasure hunters <laughs> have i got a story for you Pandora. this is our home but make no mistake all right, fellas, now let's sort of dig deep now and kind of see the graphics of this game. So, of course, you can pick the Hunter, Berserker, Siren. And honestly, fellas, these graphics look amazing. Wow. Look how to pick Siren. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. You don't have any reason to trust me, but I need you to believe that I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you find the vault. In a moment, you'll be greeted by a funny little robot. Do everything he says. You'll know what I mean when it happens. I'll contact you again soon. Honestly, guys, I'm really impressed on how good this game looks on the Switch. Wow. saying goodbye i'm sure we'll be doing this all again soon enough <laughs> ah, get off my bus
So far, fellas, so good. All right, so of course, it's, obviously, this is about 30 FPS, as you can see. Welcome to Firestone. I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display provided free of charge by the Dog Corporation. Okay, I got that. Awesome. Of course, fellas, the left trigger, yeah. L is to move, R is to look around. When you sort of press down an L, you can kind of move faster, which is nice and fluid. Oh, really nice and smooth. Alrighty, this is my my new new station. Really nice. I could change my color. I think I'm good with the way I look. It's a B. Confirm and exit. Well, I am so impressed on how this runs. I want to sort of see some action. Hmm. What is going on? Ooh. What is reload? Yep, reload is Y. Okay, am I supposed to kill these people? Whoops. Set out to fire. Let's take him down. Honestly, it is a bit weird, guys, in terms of the controls. But I'm assuming, obviously, with the um, pro controller, it'll be much easier. But all you gotta just do is get a hold of it. But yeah, it plays fine. Let's go to the question mark. these bandits all right so R is to perform a melee attack let's reload where is this guy he's right behind me let's punch this guy yeah all right loot box Okay, grab myself a gun. All right, let's have a look here. So hold the white button when um, picking up ammo to collect all nearby ammo at once. Nice. I can press X, um, switch weapons by using X. That was going to be my next question. All right, let's do this. Come on, Claptrap. Quick, this way. First impressions, fellas, really, really impressed. I know I said it before, but for a switch to run this smooth, really, really awesome. All right, let's go. Where, where do I go, Claptrap? I think I missed him. Where did he go? He went over here. 
Okay, so I've got to jump. So B is jump. Okay, beautiful. Let's take down this bandit thug. Yeah. Second down, baby. All right, what gun is this? Yeah, I got myself some money. Yeah. All right, let's take down this loot. So to loot something from my member was Y. The switch guns. I think I prefer the other gun, honestly. All right. Let's take down this guy. You just leveled up. Leveling up permanently increases the amount of health you have and the amount of damage you deal. Of course. Okay, you see 24 SMG bullets, baby. Nice. Lovely options. View lobby. Let's, let's kind of view the lobby over here. Will I be able to um, upgrade my character now? No, that's all good. Let's just continue playing. Where's Claptrap? I think I lost him. <laughs> Claptrap, where are ya? I think he's over down here. But overall, fellas, this game is playing really smoothly and I'm over here. Okay, over here. Yes, you are. Let's sort of accept this quest. So open the building 03. Alright, let's open up this building. So it should be this one. Oh, over here. Alright, the diamond icon on you encompasses your waypoint. Yep, figure that one out. So you gotta press Y, I'm assuming. Yep, Y. Yep, yeah, we go. Yeah, so honestly, fellas, um, Zed, really impressive for a Switch, and you get the full prequel. All right, so the doctor is in, open the building up, I've already done that. So I got myself some cash, some experience, which is nice. Okay, let's talk to this brother. All right, in progress, all righty. Claptrap, where the, where the hell are you, buddy? No problem, my brother. Let's go all the way down. So I gotta kill um, five of these stags. All right, so he said he'll open the gate for me. But I don't see him doing that. Okay. So while I figure out, oh, there he is. <laughs> I thought I was going the right way, Claptrap. All right. Very smooth, 30 FPS. Environment's looking pretty good, well detailed. Whoops. What happened to him? Oh, take down this bastard. Yeah. So, although these controls are a little clunky, they, you know, it's pretty easy to get used to them pretty fast. Like it feels like I've been playing this game for, for long.
you kindly give him a hand? I think I'll do that clap shot. I will definitely help you. That little robot is hurt. He isn't going to last very long without attention. Why don't you look around for something to fix him up? My turbo. Alright, let me try to fix you up, baby. Um, I'll grab something from down here. Alright. Got one of those things. Let's go back and fix my lovely robot. Fix him up. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. 72 experience. Let's take down this crazy looking thing. All right, now that, that's what, four out of five. One more I've got to take down. Take that, you bastard. Yeah. All right, so I gotta turn these in. Let's go back over here. But yeah, this is the gameplay, fellas, of Borderlands. And honestly, for the Switch, man, in case you guys were on the fence about, should I pick this up? Is it worth it? How, how is it gonna actually play? I'm playing on the on the Switch Lite, and I've had no frame, you know, frame rate drops, no lag, nothing. Give me a shout if I can help you. Yeah, baby. All done. So, in case y'all are wondering, will this be worth it? If you guys are Borderlands fans, absolutely. Go ahead and pick this up. Um, first impressions have been really, really strong. But I don't, I don't really, you know, spoil the whole gameplay on the Switch. But as you guys can see, environments are really well detailed. The graphics are really looking really good, man. And obviously, it's not, you know, AAA graphics. But for a Switch, you guys are definitely getting your money's worth. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am the Loot Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Deuces.